Hi India. So today we will see uh, the concept of Bungru because uh, today Mr. Ram Kumar and his team has come to our place to uh, start a Bungru. Okay. So to find a geophysical point where we can, we can store the water or we can use that water for agriculture or whatever purpose we require. Okay. So we have a team of members. So we will see what exactly Bungru is might be if you are new to it this is the best video that uh, uh, concludes what exactly the bungaroo is and what is that concept how it works how much it costs and how many days it takes to complete the work and how effectively it is how what is the percentage of uh, uh, success rate that it has so all these details we will see through this video okay so come we'll go and see good morning to everybody uh, my name is mp ram kumar I am from Narita Services. This is my colleague, Mr. Balu. He is our geologist. And uh, Saurabh, he is going to take care of Maharashtra for just Bungaroo. Bungaroo is a unique rainwater harvesting technology, which Narita Services, a parent organization, uh, managing director, Mr. Biplap Ketan Pal, and his wife, Mrs. Trupti Desai have developed this concept to solve the water problem permanently for the farmers and other people in India. Now we are in a place in Anantapur district called Gudibanda. The farm belongs to one ordinary farmer who is having just 9 acres of land, Iteshaya, and he has severe water crisis. He has already dug 6 bore wells and no water. So he is unable to do and he has got some arca net uh, and, mango. Go, uh, and mango cultivation which about one acre which was yielding some money now it is in danger because he doesn't have water. He came and asked our help to solve the problem permanently and then we came here to do Reiki which is a need assessment and also geophysical assessment and survey. Now I take care of the entire south for this Bungaroo. A bungaroo is basically a Gujarati word which means hollow pipe or a drinking straw. In Telugu, we will, we will say there is a word called bungu. Now, let me briefly give an introduction about this bungaroo. There are four basic steps in bungaroo. First step is called reiki, where we ask the farmer basically what is his need, how much water is required, what plantation he has, whether he is doing a natural farming organic farming, chemical farming, what plants he has in future and what is his land's latitude, longitude, topography, sketch, uh, water flow area and how and what are his present conditions, bore well, wells, uh, pond and then we will try to identify certain locations in his land which are suitable for Bungaroo based on all this input data given by the farmer. In that land Mr. Balu, who is a, geo, is a PhD in geology, he takes over and he starts doing a highly scientific analysis of this land using two very sophisticated instruments called ground penetrating radar and geophysical scanner. So in the ground penetrating radar, basically he scans the area up to 4 kilometers and identifies the strike direction of the water. That means how does the water flow below the soil. And then after identifying certain points in the area where we have earmarked for Bungaroo, he starts from there and uses a, a very sophisticated instrument called geophysical scanner with one, two, two probes, one transmitter, one receiver. Now with this scanner, he checks 10, 20, 30 readings he will take every one meter and identifies below the soil dry zones, wet zones, rocks, soft rocks, hard rock, everything he goes through below the soil checks up to 1500 feet. He gets that clear picture and identifies those that particular point which has a huge potential of storage of water. We call it dry zones. They are nothing but huge ponds below the soil. And that point, that particular dry zone should be suitable for the farmer in the sense that the direction of the water flow should be benefit the farmer, not it should not it should not go away from his farmland. That also he checks from the readings. And after all this analysis, if he finds a point which is suitable for the farmer, that point is fixed 
and the data is sent to our head office, cross verify it, then we give a detailed report called geophysical analysis report, which gives you from surface level up to 1000 feet, what are the various layers and how the layers are situated, with what depth, how much depth it has to drill, how much depth the uh, casing pipe has to put, blah, all this information is given in the report. Once that information is given, the farmer will start doing drilling as per the report. After that, we will guide them how to make the filtration chamber around this to bring the entire rainwater whenever it rains or pond water or whatever water they have nearby. You will have crores of liters of storage capacity below the ground, but where it is, is a question mark. That's what Mr. Balu finds out. If you get water, we start using it, it gets depleted every year. It is like a bank deposit and we are just only withdrawing money without depositing. Here, we are finding out the underground storage tank exactly and then putting the water. So next, after this, we will actually take the instruments and start doing the analysis.